trying to do? Um, I'm basically trying to trip this soccer ball to see if it Oh, that's easy. Let me show you. Whoa! How did you do that? It's easy. I just hit the ball on the outside. Can you show me again, please? Sure. For all you soccer players out there, have you ever wondered how to do this? Or this? Well, this can be explained through physics. So to do this, you always need to have a few equipment in hand. You will need cleats. The shoes work just as well. A soccer ball. And a large open field. Although, I'm not sure if any fields are open right now. When you kick the ball, the air is traveling the opposite direction and parts when it comes in contact with the ball and meets back again. There is a gap that forms between the ball and the air, called the wake. Furthermore, as the ball spins counterclockwise, the streams of air will also follow the direction of the ball. The streams of the air that follow the spin of the ball will deflect to the right, while the streams of the air to the right of the ball will slow down and continue straight. The ball must travel left according to Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The spin on the ball leads to deflected wake, where there is greater air pressure on the right side of the ball, which pushes the ball to the left. Since the air streams on the left side of the ball deflect to the right, the ball must travel to the left. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus effect. We can use the Magnus effect and its principles to curve the ball in other ways. When I kicked the soccer ball, I didn't kick it on the outside. Therefore, it didn't have enough spin to curve to the left. However, as I just explained, kicking the ball on the outside will make it spin and travel to the left. Additionally, if we hit the ball with the outside of our foot, it'll curve to the right, as you can see. If we hit the ball at the bottom, it'll spin backwards in the air. Sometimes, however, the ball can curve in the opposite direction even if you kick it in the same way that I just showed you. This is known as the reverse Magnus effect and it happens because of the smoothness of the ball. Fun fact, the 2010 World Cup soccer ball was disliked by many players because it would curve in unpredictable ways due to its smoothness. So now that you know all about the Magnus effect, go ahead and try and curve a soccer ball on your own.